Okay, well, China's economy getting scorching hot these days. The country today raising banks' reserve ratios to slow down lending and also to prevent inflation. So are we looking at a bubble that may be about to burst? Well, a number of economists are starting to think so, including my next guest. Joining me now from Newton, Massachusetts, is Professor Jeffrey Myron. He's the economist at Harvard University. Professor, uh, great to have you with us. And, uh, you know, nice over the here. last uh, several months or so, we've been hearing quite a bit about a bubble forming in China. Or whether or not it's formed or already formed, uh, you know the measures that the Chinese government are putting in place. It seems as if they are in fact concerned about this hot growth. Uh, are they going to be enough to manage this bubble or bubbles? I don't think that what they've done so far is going to be nearly enough. There's still a huge amount of credit being provided. There's a huge amount of inducement for additional bank lending. There's still a general mentality that they want to promote home ownership, and the ch increases in interest rates so far have been very, very minuscule. So I think that there is a definite bubble, and it's uh, going to continue uh, for a while unless the Chinese take much stronger measures. But the bubble bursting, the, okay, stronger measures would, uh, you know, essentially they're trying to manage this uh, well. But uh, I mean, the bubble bubble bursting, could that be an immediate event or are we talking about something uh, perhaps a year on out? No, it's hard to know exactly when. That's one of the problems with bubbles. It may be in a few weeks, but more likely it's probably somewhere in the next year or two. Um, if people could predict when the bubbles were, good, were going to burst, of course, there would be uh, uh, lots of ways to make money off that, uh, and it would be much easier to manage them for, for governments. But uh, the problem is that for a while they seem sort of rational and reasonable, and at some point people are starting to know that they're bubbles and realize they're bubbles, but no one wants to get out as long as it's going to continue, and so it just goes on for a while until somehow something causes it to burst, but it's hard to predict exactly when. Right. And bubbles, by the way, we mean, uh, for instance, a bubble in the property market or, or in the stock markets or elsewhere in China. Uh, if it does burst, is there any way or is it inevitable that it would burst? Is there any possibility that the government could, in fact, handle this and manage a way down? I think it's possible that you can manage a bubble to sort of deflate somewhat more slowly and perhaps somewhat less traumatically. I don't think there's any good way to prevent it from the property values from eventually coming back down or from stock values from coming back down. The fundamentals of the market are going to win out in the end. Sometimes it might take a year or two or five. but. Uh, right now, housing prices are growing at a rate that just doesn't make sense, given the fundamentals of economic growth and the size of the population and so on. So it's going to come down, maybe very quickly in a big burst or maybe more gradually. Mm. Uh, it would be, it's very hard to manage it skillfully and gradually. Very few economies have done that. Right. And the New York Times, by the way, reporting in a front page story today that uh, if something like that were to happen on this scale in China, uh, the crisis would be, quote, considerably a more serious event. You agree with that? Uh, well, I'm not sure more serious than what. It, would be, it certainly would be a huge event because it's a huge economy. We're talking about a ton of property that's affected, um, and it could be every bit as disruptive as the recent financial crisis and the bursting of the housing bubble was in the U.S., absolutely. Okay. All right, Professor, we're going to have to leave it there, but thanks so much for joining us uh, on something that we're watching very closely here. Uh, that was Professor uh, Jeffrey Myron from Harvard.